Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for the second ODI between India and New Zealand. And this one's going to be played at Raipur, the first international game that's going to be happening here. There have been a few road world safety series and IPL games, but this would be the first international. So, it will be interesting to see how it goes. We have Nikhil Bhai with us today to give you more insights on what he feels about the venue as well as the base team. Base team, how was the vice captain Bracewell? जस्ट टेल्स यू कि हमने इनफ प्रूफ मिल गया पहले भी कि फॉर्म से मस्ती नहीं करो सो आई थिंक दैट इज समथिंग विल लुक टू कंटिन्यू उसके बाद अगर कुछ आगे पीछे होता है तो दैट इज नॉट इन आर हैंड्स सो विद दैट टाइम लेट्स सी हाउ दिस वन गोस यस एब्सोल्युटली सो फर्स्ट अप लेट्स लुक एट द वेन्यू कंडीशंस फॉर दिस गेम सो द गेम इज गोइंग टू बी प्लेड एट रायपुर लाइक वी मेंशन एंड द ओनली pattern that we have seen at this ground is that dust dust tend to slow down towards the latter half but apart from that no real information in terms of dew or in terms of how the pitch will behave because most of the games that we have seen here are more of the 20 over games so this is a 50 over one so it will be interesting to see how it's different nikhil bhai any thoughts on whether it would be similar to the 20 over pattern or because it's a longer game it would get even slower Yeah, very interesting to see how it happens. Uh, apologies, I think the video is like my health a bit down. I don't know why that is. But up to audio, to pure clear, will get. That's my guarantee. Hai. So I think it should start uh, start well, and then hmm. if it slows down, hopefully we should know by the pitch report also. Well, it's not much. I don't know. But if due to that, we know, then it will give us enough idea that should it get better to bad or should it get slower. and will be very interesting to see what the both captains think because i am sure unhone baat kari hogi curator ke sath ke how do they expect how does the curator expects the game to be uh, the game to go yes so it will be very crucial for you to watch out for the toss to try and get any signals from the playing 11s on how the teams shape up because if they are taking that extra pace or spinner it might be a sign for you on how they expect the pitch for yeah. to behave now let's look at the base team for this one So first up we start with the keeping section and here we have gone with Tom Latham obviously Kishan is batting out of position so it's not ideal in terms for him and we have not opted for him Finn Allen if you feel like it's a flat batting track you can always try him out but obviously he takes one just too many which makes it difficult for you to pick that kind of a player in a 50 over format because you have plenty of other options in the batting we have gone with Shubman Gill Rohit Virat and conway philips so we have tried to cover all the key batters because what we had what we have complained until now is that batters should be important here especially because we don't have any signals in terms of how much it will help the bowlers so it will be important for you to cover the key batters especially because many of them are coming in a rich vein of form bilkul to agar aapko batting mein bhi option chahiye to dekho finn allen aur siraj ek seedha battle hai aapko lagta hai siraj finn ko nikal lenge to fir finn ko mat lo पर अगर आपको लगता है कि नहीं फिन शमी को इतना रन मारेगा कि सिराज के सामने रिस्क नहीं लेगा तो यू कैन कीप फिन इन योर टेम इन योर लेवन और क्योंकि द प्रॉब्लम विद दिस गेम एंड व्हाई आई फील यू विल प्रॉब्ली स्टिल टेक मोर बैटर्स इज मोस्ट ऑफ देम हैव शोन गुड फॉर्म तो ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई ऐसा आउट ऑफ टच प्लेयर हुए इज गेटिंग कंसिस्टेंट स्टार्ट तो एक वो बड़ा नॉक कब भी आएगा यू विल वॉन्ट टू बी रेडी फॉर दैट गेल इज ऑलरेडी प्लेड अ मैसिव नॉक अगेन लक था बट दैट इज वॉट यू नीड फॉर फॉर एनी इनिंग्स दैट है वो है फिलिप्स अगर पिच वैसी होती है कि टर्न हो रहा है तो आई एम श्योर ही गेट टू बोल तो फिलिप्स जी आके आपको बता जाता है कॉनवे हैज बीन स्कोरिंग रन विराट कोहली जस्ट हिट सेंचुरी तो ऐसा कोई प्लेयर नहीं है जिसको आप इजीली ड्रॉप कर सकते हो अनलेस यू हैव अ गट फीलिंग देम तो सूर्य एक प्लेयर मिसिंग है पर एक चीज जो मुझे लगता है सूर्य के साथ आप ऐसे कर सकते हो कि हाउ मच इज ही गोइंग टू बैट एंड हाउ मच इज जो प्लेयर उसके बदले आप ले रहे हो आप समझो आप हार्दिक पांड्या के बदले अगर सूर्य को लेना चाहते हो आप ले सकते हो पर हार्दिक बोलिंग से अगर रन आपको लगता है कि पिछले मैच जैसा फॉर्म रहेगा विकेट ज्यादा नहीं लेगा तो यू कैन टेक दैट रिस्क एंड टेक ओनली ब्रेसवेल मे बी फ्रॉम द ऑलराउंडर सेक्शन एंड स्किप हार्दिक फॉर सूर्य बट अगेन इट मेक्स यू पिक द एंटायर बैटिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ इंडिया तो यू हैव टू बी वेरी श्योर कि वो गेम ऐसा जाएगा कि इन सबको उतनी बैटिंग मिलनी चाहिए तो वैसा अपने विजुअलाइजेशन को बैक करना क्योंकि ये गेम प्रोडोमिनेटली सब लोग सेम ही लेके आएंगे टीम आपको ज्यादा चेंजेस जो भी आप चेंजेस करोगे रिस्क लेवल में मीडियम कहूंगा आप स्मॉली खेल सकते हो बट मिनी जेल ज्यादा प्रेफर करूंगा प्योरली फ्रॉम द सेंस के कॉमन टीम होने की बहुत चांसेस है भले चेंजेस जो भी बाकी सब जगह पे हो रहे हैं 
So let's see how that also goes. Yes, will be important for you to take a call, post the toss in the all rounders. We have gone with Bracewell and Hardik. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Sandna bowled well, but like we always say, he's slightly defensive in the nature of his bowling, mm -hmm. which means that his wicket taking opportunities are limited. Washington Sundar is not being used in the in the optimum way at all, so makes it difficult for you to pick him in the team. And Daryl Mitchell got some key wickets in the last game, so it will be interesting to see his usage again. In the bowling, we have gone with Siraj, Kuldeep and Lockie, so we are not messing around here. We have gone yeah. with the form guys. All three of them are the best form guys as far as this section is concerned. Absolutely. As I said earlier, it's a standard team. Hai. Uh, again, one thing that we have done before in fantasy, mein, bahut dafa we try to win big by taking an undue risk on a form play, which doesn't work out and then we feel that we have to do the form with the form. So, as I said, एरलेन में गेम है तो आप मैच छोड़ को कैप्टन रखोगे फिर भले डेविड पेन उसको 0 पे आउट करे या 100 पे आउट करे आप वो रिस्क नहीं ले सकते क्योंकि वो बंदा बॉलिंग से भी आके फिर विकेट लेके जाता है या कुछ भी हो सकता है तो दैट इज अ वी हैव टू टेक अ कॉल ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर गेम क्योंकि जो भी ऑप्शन सिलेक्ट करें हैं कोई भी ऐसा पंट पिक नहीं है अपार्ट फ्रॉम से हार्दिक हार्दिक इज प्रोबेबली द ओनली स्पॉट वेयर यू कैन रोटेट अनलेस यू फील कि गेम स्लो हो जाएगा तो देन a different game comes together because then you can take Sundar and then you can take Glenn Phillips as vice captain. So you will have plenty of options but most for Grand Leagues and in this case, many people will be surprised if Seraj and Bracewell are captain or vice captain, I am sure. Yes, but ideally Siraj has been taking wickets game after game and Bracewell has also been consistent. So hence, the only reason for making both of them captain and vice captain is because like we always say, we try to Make players who get multiple opportunities in yeah. the game, and hence that's the reason for backing them. Now, let's look at the Grand League options for this one. Go for it, sir. So, the Grand League option, Daryl Mitchell bowl bowl ke finally wickets to Nikal Valley. So, one box is ticked there. Now, one jo my Grand League pick in New Zealand, say, Shad Vin Gahos. Uh, and that is Finn Allen. Again, the point with Allen is simple. Ke, I am expecting him to adapt to conditions better. In the game, I think he played good. Uh, he got out to a good ball as well from Shardul, which is fine. But I don't like the risk of the rhythm, which I like to see a lot in T20. Mein hai, lete hai. So if he can give New Zealand a good start, and if he's second batting, kar rahe, I might be even more tempted. But again, Conditions dependent. अगर मुझे लग रहा है कि second inning में ज़्यादा swing होगी तो मैंने first inning में try करूँगा। तो conditions dependent call है ये। And from India, I know one game तो Surya और Sundar will have will have a bonkers or game। तो अब वो कौन कैसे usage का problem है Sundar के साथ? तो maybe I'll go with Sky again। थोड़ा risky option ही है क्योंकि कितनी batting आएगी? क्योंकि he's playing an aggressive kind of knock। तो T20 में this still differential क्योंकि छोटा time है। or the knock has enough impact for points. But ODI is so anybody can cover for a 40 odd. So, hoping for a big knock from Surya. Let's see. Yes, pretty much possible. And with Surya, with no stress, he'll be wanting to prove a point too. Yeah. Uh, my two picks for this game. First up from New Zealand is Blair Tikna. I think he went under the radar a bit. And except for that last few years of the death where he got a little bit of tap, I think he bowled pretty well. And keep in mind that if the pitch actually slows down and if there are any variations required, then he'll be the one in the attack to provide so because Lockie is generally out and out pace and Shipley relies more on movement. So he'll be that choice from this side. And as far as India is concerned, he got hit a bit in the last game, but he still got wickets. That's Shardul Thakur. And uh, like I always say, if there is a. You're on mute, sir. If there is any. <laughs> Minor fall also in the batting, he'll come to your rescue there too in a note, yeah. Absolutely, look, Lord, one Lord, New Zealand ka Lord to chal gaya. Let's see India ka Lord, uh, kaise kaup karta hai. Yes, Lord, Lord Bracewell has been firing game after game. So, I guess yeah. the Lords are the one to watch out for. At least that's what the start of the series gives you a sign towards. And on that note, we'll sign off from this preview. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in. Have a great game and all the good luck to you. Have a good game, guys. See you soon.